Hello friends, my name is Kulio and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a first look impressions video for Albion Online. Now this is a new buy to play MMORPG and a lot of people are kind of akinning it to like, I don't know, EVE Online, like a fantasy version of EVE Online where you go in, you gather materials, become super wealthy, you can attack other players, there's a lot you can do. It's a sandbox MMORPG, so we're gonna jump in. We're just gonna have some fun playing the game. It's extremely popular already. I've seen tons of Twitch people streaming it, tons of YouTube videos already, and a whole bunch of people are actually already playing the game. Now, I've already went ahead and made a character. Here he is right here. You can't even see his feet because they're going through the ground. Now, the game did just release, so there may be a couple of bugs, there may be some uh, server instability, things like that. Um, another cool thing about this game, I'm going to get right off the bat before we jump in and start checking out a whole bunch of stuff, is that this game is cross-platform compatible between the PC, the Mac, Android, as well as certain iOS devices. I actually made my character using my Samsung phone, so that was actually pretty cool. Made him, jumped around. I'm not a big fan of playing it on the mobile device itself. You can if you want to. It's a pretty simplistic uh, play style where you can just point and click and I just punched a rabbit in the face. <laughs> All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and jump into the game and uh, just have some fun. Okay, so we're supposed to gather some wood. I'm assuming we're supposed to just go punch, punch a tree. Oh, we can actually just gather. I thought for a second we'd actually punch the tree. There we go, destiny fulfilled. That was always my destiny to collect logs. It's kind of a weird, <laughs> a weird uh, achievement. Uh, now we gotta gather some rough stone which I guess we just go up to this and uh, pick them up, which is uh, simple enough. Destiny fulfilled has been checked off. Now we gotta go craft a beginner's skinning knife. One thing that's really cool in this game is the economy is completely player driven. Everything in the game that you're gonna be buying is made by either yourself or another player. So we're supposed to be making a skinning knife, which is right here. And we have enough to craft. Go ahead and craft it. There's our first weapon. And click on the bag icon, which I know is somewhere around here. Got a skinny knife, which has been equipped. Another thing which we may not get a chance to really take a whole lot of look at in this first impressions video is the type of character you're going to end up playing is determined by the items that you have equipped. So if you want to play as a mage character, you're going to want to equip a staff. If you want to play as a tank, you're going to equip some heavy armor. But you can actually mix and match pretty much everything to make your uh, own specific play style. Okay, so we have the choice between killing a rabbit, a marmot, or a frog. To be honest, I already just punched a rabbit in the face. <laughs> so maybe I can find a frog to kill instead. Okay, seriously, these rabbits are breeding like crazy. All I've seen is rabbits. Where the heck is a frog at? I'm gonna kill a frog. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I could not find a frog, so I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh, one slash and he's dead. Now we need to gather eight pieces of scraps of hide, which I'm assuming we're gonna gather from the rabbit. We have to go kill more rabbits. <laughs> why do they Why do they give you the option of killing a frog if there's no frogs nearby? Okay, so we've gathered enough hide. We can now create our own jacket. We're gonna go to armor and the beginning mercenary jacket. Is that what I'm supposed to build? I'm assuming that's what I'm supposed to build, craft. Nice, now I am not shirtless. I have clothing on. I'm glad that they have these beginner quests. Uh, from what I understand, if you complete the beginner quest, you actually will get a, you'll, you'll get a mount. It'll be not as fast as some of the other mounts in the game, but at least it'll help. So we got to craft a beginner's broadsword. I don't know how to do that. So let's go back to here and find out what we need. To create a beginner's broadsword. We're going to need some stone and some rough logs. I love how like <laughs> I went and gathered some wood and the entire tree just disappeared. We only got one rough log from that. There was only one good piece of wood from that entire tree. Craft, and we even have some stone left over. Let's go ahead and switch that out. Now, I believe uh, if we at least have the skinning knife in our inventory, we'll be able to use it. So item abilities. Now, this is where it's going to teach us about the different abilities that items have. So this one has um, the beginner strike ability and a beginner's cleave. Only one spell can be active per row, though. So we have to pick and decide on how we're gonna start building our character already. Yeah, you can actually switch them at will. So you can kind of have like your own little setup. That's pretty nice. Though, just to let you know, it does put your abilities on cooldown. So we've got two abilities here. Beginner Cleave, attack an enemy dealing 91 damage to the target and all enemies in close proximity. And we got Mend Wounds. As long as you are not in combat, you can use this to uh, spell to mend your wounds and heal yourself. Okay, let's go try to kill some more rabbits because there's seriously like tons of rabbits. Now, I don't have to leave this area right away if I don't want to. 
I'm actually going to go around, gather some hide, get some more clothing, see if I can't build some armor for myself before I actually head on. All right, now I'm going to head over to town and see what else we got to learn. Warning, just like any other item in Albion Online, this item will drop from your character upon death? What? So this is the main town area, and I apologize for the slight lag that you you might be getting in the video. But that's actually happening in the game right now. It's because there's seriously so many people riding donkeys. So we can actually kind of go from here and do kind of whatever we want to at this point. We've got a couple of different um, quests over on the top right to kind of guide us on our way through the world of Albion if we want to. In the center of town, we have our personal storage item. So I'm actually going to drop this in there. I'm hoping that I don't need to carry it around with me constantly to have the benefits. I don't think so. That'd be kind of weird. Um, there might, I believe there are quests around town that you can kind of check out different uh, objectives that, you know, certain NPCs can end up giving you. I'm going to see if I can't find one of these to show you guys some of the questing maybe in the game. Okay, so I did find quest givers in the game. You'll find these people with like these dark orange rings below their feet. They can, they're also indicated with these scrolls on the map. You go and talk to them and they'll have quests, but unfortunately I don't have any quests at this point. Um, I'm a little confused on what I'm supposed to be doing next, but it does say that we, I mean, we've got these little quests up here on the top right to kind of guide us through what we're supposed to be doing, but I'm not sure where to head out from there. So give me a second while I kind of figure out what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. Okay, so I have seen some impressive skill trees when I've played MMOs before. Path of Exile had a crazy one. Secret World, the Secret World had a pretty intense skill will, but this has like a redonkulous amount of stuff that you can progress your character through. Now, I believe you don't actually spend skill points to unlock certain tiers. Rather, you progress your character through doing certain activities to unlock the next point. So, for instance, I want to work on this one right here. This is the Journeyman Plate Armor Fighter. Kill creatures of tier 2 plus wearing Novus Soldier's Armor Chest. Once I've killed a certain amount, I'll unlock this and actually get usable armor that I can actually equip onto my character to build them more like a tank. And that's kind of the way I want to go. Maybe a tank using a bow. So, that's my goal and I'm going to see if I can't just you know track that one specific quest so in my journey to become a plate armor fighter i have gone here i'm pretty sure novus soldier's armor chest which is this one right here which i actually need some copper bars to get which i need copper ore so i gotta go and find some copper ore in order for me to build this now if i want if i had the gold i could go buy it from the marketplace from another player that's already made it but instead, I'm going to go ahead and find myself a, if I can, if I can figure out where to, I got to go find myself a pickaxe. So that's where my journey is going right now as we become an armor plate fighter is to figure out how to make myself a pickaxe. I found out how to make myself a pickaxe. I got to go get some wood and some rough stone. So here I go again <laughs> to go find. Luckily though, there's a giant tree right here. I'm pretty sure I don't have to cut down the whole, actually, yeah, if I end up cutting down the whole thing, it's going to give me like a whole bunch of wood. I don't know if I want that just yet. Well, I end up having to gather the wood from the giant tree. Luckily, though, it gave me 15. It didn't take too long, maybe like half, half a minute, you know, 30 seconds. But now we got to go. Holy crap, why am I invisible? Well, I'm invisible now, and I got to go find some rough stone to gather. Sweet, now that we've got ourselves a pickaxe, let's go ahead and explore the wilderness. If we pull up our map, hopefully, I don't know how to, I don't know how to zoom out from this point. Okay, so we're at the forest outpost. I'm assuming this is kind of like a newbie zone. And then here's the rest of the world. Now it is a really, really big game. There's one, two, three huge continents, four, four huge continents that you can actually run around and play on. So that's pretty intense. So we'll have to, Hopefully get a chance to go and explore this massive world that they've created. Okay, so one thing that's pretty cool uh, from looking at this map is you can specific, uh, like pick specific zones such as this area right here. Click on it and up on the top right, it'll actually show you the resources that you can find in that area. So there's tier, I believe tier two and tier three copper ore. So we got to actually head down south. Now, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be like a specific level or specific strength in order to go down in that area. It may be dangerous but it's worth the risk to find the resources that we need in order to 
hopefully get the heavy armor that I want because I think one cool concept I want to try out in this game is to actually be somebody that guards other players that you know are trying to take resources from one part of the land and move it to another part. So that's kind of the goal of mine. I want to be kind of like security detail. So I finally found myself some copper ore here in town. I'm not sure if this is the only place I can find it because I couldn't find it in the other area. We've got another player here who's who's, who's mining this. So I'm assuming I'm just going to kind of chill here and, and try to mine this copper ore that pops up. And hopefully nobody else steals it like this guy on his horse that's going actually on a donkey he's going like crazy slow. Don't tell me that guy took it from me. Oh man, I'd be so mad. Yes! Yes, 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 I got it. I did not get it. Okay, so once you've gathered your materials, you'll actually have to go to like a forge, a journeyman's smelter actually, and then you can actually go ahead and craft it here. So I've only got four of them, which made four copper bars. I need 16. And um, I'm not going to be gathering it from those two spots right there because it's not first come, first serve. It's first to whoever harvests it the fastest. So I can sit there all day and keep clicking on that. But if somebody's got a better pickaxe than I do and they can harvest it faster, they're going to win. So we're going to go out and kind of explore once again and hopefully... Be able to find some copper ore because according to the map there should be some i finally found some copper ore but i am surrounded by these giant menacing predator birds that i'm hoping does not try to kill me because they're a little terrifying and i don't know if i can actually take them down but there is in fact copper ore in this area there's actually bandits in this area as well so i don't know if i want to deal with those guys because i'm just here to do some crafting Wow, there's a lot of dead saber tooth tiger bodies over here. Oh gosh, there's, a more, there's another one. Yeah, let's not mess with that. So I think I found kind of more copper ore over here, but there's more players. So it might be harder for me to gather the resources that I need. But it's kind of cool. This is like almost reminiscent of like old school RuneScape for me. So I like, I'm enjoying the fact that there's like a challenge to finding the resources. Because I find myself like when I'm playing a video game or an MMO and I, gathering resources is kind of like a big part of the game experience. I'm not that big of a fan of going out and, you know, mining and gathering all this stuff just to progress, but because it's it's too easy, it's too simple for me sometimes. But I like the fact that there is a good amount of challenge behind this that I actually have to go out and gather them before the other players. So that's, it adds a fun factor on top of something that I personally wouldn't find as being that fun. I just found out that this board is called the Destiny Board. I figured I'd kind of like let you guys know what it's called just just so you guys you know can understand I'm trying to see what some of these ones that I'm kind of working towards as of right now this is the journeyman adventurer this is the basic one of doing any kind of activity to kind of slowly build my way up all the way up to the elder adventurer wow six million six million fame I believe it's called in order to reach that point so as I've been sitting here, I've been kind of like looking at the chat in the bottom and it's actually pretty cool to see like people looking for groups saying like, you know, I'm a tier four DPS fire mage or I'm a tier four healer. Uh, you know, it, it's it's cool. It's a really interesting like it, it, it's just it takes me back to old school gaming style and I and I really appreciate that. So I just found out that you have a sprint ability, which is kind of nice. It's hotkey to F. I just used it, kind of wasted it. But I finally, after like 10 minutes, have the resources that I need to head back and craft myself some armor. I'm actually pretty excited to progress my character through hard work and determination rather than somebody just simply giving me the stuff in a quest. So first things first, we gotta make sure that we smelt our copper pretty quick. I'm glad that it like it's instant all at once rather than like every single one one at a time just like slowly building it nope we don't want to go there we want to head over here build ourselves our armor please tell me yes craft we got the top and we had just enough actually we had more than enough to build it but we we should have enough maybe to build ourselves a novice broadsword looks like i'm gonna need some stiff leather 
advanced material used for crafting. It can be created from a base material. So I gotta get rugged hide in order to make that. And then I'll have to get more copper bars in order to make myself a broadsword. We can go ahead and equip these now. Item abilities, we already knew that. Uh, what do I want? Let's see. Toughness, incoming damage reduced by 5%, which is already placed in there. Mend wounds, which I used to have, or taunt. Taunt enemies, as well as increasing the chance that nearby mobs will attack you. Let's do that, because I'm going to kind of try to build this character as an offensive character, or a, as a defensive type character, so that'll be good. There we go. We've got my new armor now. Equipped. Throw on my sword. Um... I don't know if there's a I, I'm sh I'm sure there's a way to like deconstruct some of the material like some of the armors and stuff that you make but there's my new guy all equipped out and ready to fight so just let you guys know this portal that you'll find in specific towns is called an expedition kind of like a dungeon you'll run through and you can find specific mobs to fight and I believe you can find rare uh, items to craft with and things like that now this is a tier three um, Adventure to run through for one player. Unfortunately, I only have tier two items and a tier one sword So there is a good amount of stuff. I still need to work on but guys I do kind of want to give you my final impressions of the game and I think one of the biggest factors that's gonna make it so I want to play this game more in the future is two things actually two one is the nostalgia factor behind the game. It reminds me a lot of runescape um like the hard, like early, early stages of RuneScape, not the new one, old school RuneScape. It may be just the aesthetic and the appeal towards crafting and the hardcore gamer style, um, but the nostalgia is there. I, I like it. The second thing is that challenge, being able to compete against other players for resources and be able to gather those resources to eventually craft your own weapons, your own armor. The progression that you make is solely your own in this game. There are quests and things that you can kind of work towards unfortunately i haven't had a chance to te you know test any of those out you've also got these guides right here to kind of direct you in the direction of how to play the game which is always nice um i think the game looks great i think it's also fantastic that it runs on multiple platforms that is definitely a highlight for me well guys that's kind of my first impressions for the game I'll probably come out with more videos. If you want to see more videos, please let me know down below. If you enjoyed this first impressions of Albion Online, please hit that like button and subscribe for more online gaming videos. Hey guys, I'll see you later.